Does your image reflect who you really are? Do you feel safe in your clothes today? Yeah, yeah? that's good. How much of yourself do you disclose to the public? A lot. Okay, that's good. Do you feel like a million dollars? Because if you look like a million, you can make a million. Did you know that? Actually, I don't believe in I don't care about clothes attitude because we all want to be seen. We are seeking acceptance. And we have only seven seconds to catch someone's attention. That's why your image should reflect who you really are. I'm a style transformer, and I do it for a living. And to be honest, I don't believe in fashion. I believe in the power of clothes. I believe in the power of change, but in small steps, not extreme makeovers. My own image change um, happened about 10 years ago. I was dreaming desperately to break into fashion world, but I looked like this. That's why I created myself from scratch. I became a sparkling, colorful creature with a lot of jewelry, a lot of colors, a lot of mixed prints. It helped me become fearless. It was like my warrior mask. And I made it. I made it. I became first Polish personal stylist. I was on the top of the world, working hard, but with a lot of satisfaction. I was noticeable, loud, and completely lost in my own image. Then I got sick. I had an operation. Suddenly, this whole image thing was not an issue anymore. It felt inadequate. I was just a sick girl. My big aha moment came when I returned home from hospital. I stood in the front of the mirror, completely naked, with a lot of bandage around my very, very tired body. And I saw myself real for the very first time. And I felt that I loved myself for the very first time. I felt that I, my body needed appreciated, appreciation, but not to impress others, but just to show that I care about myself. So I changed again. Get rid of my crazy colors, take off some jewelry, and, of course, don't get me wrong, I still love to look amazing. <laughs> but now, I want to do it on my own terms, not fashion terms. And this is the first reason why you need to take care of your look, to appreciate your body. But the second, even more important thing, is to get to know who you are and express it, because it's really important. Your image, if your image matches your personality. Trust me, if you feel attractive because you are sure about your body, if you feel attractive because you are showing your true self, you will find an amazing source of self-confidence. And what is most important, you will attract people who will understand you, who will believe in you, and who will stay in your life no matter 
private or business. Okay, but how to do it? <laughs> I think <coughs> it's a simple way, but the question is, are you brave enough to manifest yourself? Are you brave enough to be seen? And are you brave enough to dedicate some time just to your well-being? Okay, if you are, you need to open your wardrobe and mind and get rid, of, uh, get rid of some stuff. Throw away everything you haven't used for at least a year. Something is wrong with them, trust me, even if you don't realize what is it exactly. Throw away every, everything too small or too big because every size needs suitable clothes. Throw away everything is too sheer or too tight because it's not comfortable. And throw away everything you would never wear for a date of your life because every day matters. And you deserve to look amazing, not only on special occasions. This wardrobe detox process can be painful, but it will create space for new. New clothes, but also new you. And now when your wardrobe is lighter than ever, it's time for my MBI system, Master of Business Image. <laughs> Four steps to create your true and powerful image. First is to find your body shape. I've designed my own body shape system, and I, I'm really happy that I could share it with you in our workshop before. Then, you need to find your colors. Third step is to find your style personality, and it came from Carl Gustav Jung, but it's a lot simpler, like Sex and the City characters. I will explain it to you. And fourth is to find your brand mark, to find your signature. So if you know your body shape, you need to decide which colors suit you most, which colors make your skin glow and your eyes look more colorful. And yes, guys, I'm talking to you also. <laughs> so. If you decide that you look good in silver, you should go for cold colors. And if you decide that you look better in gold, you should go for warm and natural colors. What about style personalities? If you are a fighter, waterproof jacket for an important meet meeting, that's you. Old backpack instead of elegant suitcase, it's also you. You are a fighter. For you, usability is more important than look. My style recipe, keep your multifunctional wardrobe for sporty occasions and invest in good quality clothes. They will be more comfortable. And think about it, which clothes will help you achieve your personal and business goals? If you are a star, like me, <laughs> you are a logo person, aren't you? You like to be in the center of attention all the time. You are a little bit chaotic, maybe. My style recipe, before you leave, take off one piece. You will look more effortless. If you are an empath, hmm. The dress your grandma gave you years ago? Aren't you too sentimental about clothes? Or maybe you are going for I don't want to be noticed clothes? That's you. My style recipe, have some courage 
and sometimes put something you really, really want without thinking about someone else's opinion. And if you're an analytic, like Miranda from Sex and the City, mostly classical items in your wardrobe, everything is proper and follow dress code rules. Oh, you love rules. <laughs> but be careful, because rules can hide who you really are, and image should be about who you really are. Are. Well, what about some stories? I have a lot. One of them is Michal. Michal is with me today. Uh, Michal called me because he wanted to look more powerful. He noticed that when he was playing volleyball, uh, his opponents were more stressed because he were playing with uh, professional clothes. And he wanted to do the same in business. As it turned out later, he wanted to meet me and ask me out, so he did. <laughs> so he changed not only his image, but his whole life. Fortunately for me, he found love, too. And there's Beata. I met her during my charity project workshop. I noticed beautiful, tall, amazing woman hiding herself in natural clothes. After our workshop and after our makeover, I asked her about her feelings. And she said, I feel absolutely amazing. I feel absolutely beautiful. Now everything is possible. She noticed that she has it all. Beautiful legs, amazing hair, she has it all. And she made a decision that she will compliment herself day by day. That she will find one beautiful thing in herself day by day. But one of my most touching stories uh, is a story about Kate. And we worked together for two years. And <clears throat> during our work, it turned out that she's pregnant. And during her pregnancy, it appears that her child will be disabled. So I was sure that it will be the end of our cooperation. And surprisingly for me, she said, I need to take care about myself. I need to be pretty, to be a happy mom. I don't want my son to feel that I'm mortifying because of him. It's like in a plane. In case of emergency, you need to use oxygen mask first for yourself to have an ability to take care of your child. So we, find, we, we found the most amazing, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> we found the most amazing pregnancy clothes ever. Yellow coat, coat, coat with a lot of energy, a lot of beautiful, nice jewelry, and a sexy dress to enha enhance her femininity to celebrate her state, to celebrate her unique style and attitude. So, today, I just want you to open your mind and believe in the transforming power of clothes, to open your hearts and believe in the beauty of your inner self. Of course, to open your wardrobe and make some changes. And to remember that image is about who you really are, not about who you wanted to be. So, are you ready? Thank you. <laughs>